Mm -hmm. Alright, this is a strongman challenge. I, Benny, I'm gonna single handedly push Betty the van. So this is what fasting does, you know what I'm saying? I've already done a vlog that says your body doesn't need power, it has power. And uh, if you fast during the day, like myself, no by mouth, no food, no water, this is the kind of superhuman strength that you develop. But how far are you going? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, welcome back to another Chris vlog. Uh, before we get into today's vlog, I'm just going to kind of draw attention to why we do these vlogs in the first place. And one of the main reasons is to draw attention to any cause that we're a part of. Now, at this moment in time, we're driving to raise as much money and awareness for a young warrior called Desmina, who's suffering from stage four neuroblastoma, which is a form of cancer. So what you can do is please feel free to check out our online donations page. I'll leave the link on the screen right now in the description below and at the end of this vlog, where you can donate money directly to Desmina and her family. And we've also got our online store for any one of the purchases that you make of the Kevin the Soul Assassin Ross signature line. 100% of the profits from that line go to Desmila and her family. So, I'm Benny. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Feel free to check out the links to everything. Again, I'll leave them at the end of this vlog and also in the description below. And let's work together to make a difference. Try life, of course. So, um, just finished up on Brick Lane, uh, doing our us coconuts business on Brick Lane. Um, the starter motor has actually gone in Betty the van. So, um, with the help of my friend Sharik and Ryan, uh, we pushed it and we've got it going. Now, I'm just finishing up in the market. I'm just going to pack everything, put everything in the back of the van. I started in one of the previous vlogs talking about uh, kidney health and the importance of your kidneys. So um, I got some comments to go through. Uh, thank you guys for commenting from the previous vlog. We'll take a look at some of those um, suggestions that you guys have made as far as herbs or uh, fruits or foods that help with your kidney health. And we're also gonna run through some of the foods that I use on a daily basis to clean my kidneys. Now I mentioned one of the previous vlogs the vlog, vlog previous to this um, that I was going to be messing with not messing with I was speaking about nettles so that's why I'm in my local little kind of communal park area which is away from the roads to avoid okay I suppose um, finding uh, nettle leaves that have absorbed pollution from the roadside so I've come here to get some nettles because what I'm going to do rather than going through all the foods that are beneficial for your kidneys I was going to kind of quickly show you guys an easy to make brew or like like a smoothie drink um, and other little bits and bobs that will kind of help get you started on the road to cleansing your kidneys and then from here we can elaborate again please, please feel free to comment below and let us know if you guys have any ideas about ways to cleanse and uh, you know better look after your kidneys or things foods and herbs and these types of things that help with kidney health so what I tend to do 
don't know if you're going to be able to see it, is basically with the nettles, the way nettles grow, I'll put like a flash of diagram of a nettle on the screen right now. What I tend to do is I tend to get the top part of the nettle leaf. So it's like it grows in layers. The top part being because it's the most newly grown, so it's more likely to have uh, be more packed with nutrients. It's fresher, younger. Um, it hasn't been sitting there in fox and dog wee wee, and it's higher up. So again, it's less likely to be um, peed on by any animal that's kind of roaming through the park that you collect your nettles from. Um, so I got some nettles. I foraged some nettles. I'm gonna add that to my smoothie in a minute. And um, and also what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a vlog dedicated to these plants that we call weeds, when actual fact, they're not weeds. Um, they're very beneficial and kind of easy to locate and great for our bodies. And I'm gonna do a vlog dedicated to things like dandelion, nettle, uh, these types of things that you can get in your local park for free. You don't need to subscribe to any expensive subscription of supplements you don't need to buy it in a powder form you can get it it's freely available and it is you know a nutritional powerhouse so the first thing we've got to do is um, basically clean um, the nettles and one of the best ways to actually clean fruit or veggies is with bicarb or soda so you can pick this up it's inexpensive you can pick it up from any supermarket or you know any local store but basically what you got to do is leave your fruit and veggies to soak for about five to five to ten minutes you can use a, um, a vegetable brush or something or a toothbrush to clean them further but you just literally add about I suppose two tablespoons of bicarbonate or soda to the water and that will clean off any pesticides or nasty stuff from the fruit and veggies that you're consuming so you might have heard me mention earlier that today is a fasting day which means I'm drinking no I've been drinking no water and eating no food for the entirety of the day from sun up to sundown and it's coming to sundown right now so the first thing I tend to do if I'm gonna kind of do a kind of well, I'm not specifically doing a liver or a kidney cleanse. This is just what I do generally to prepare my body for or open the food gate in my body, prepare myself for food. But it just so happens there is the process of cleaning my kidney and liver because I feel as though we want to take in our nutrition first and foremost. We want to aid those bodily functions that basically clean out all the toxicity and the waste from our body. So one of the first thing I kind of do naturally is I drink water. Water is gonna clean out, you know, your body. Water is gonna rehydrate you, and it's gonna aid the function and productivity of your kidneys and your liver. So drink, enjoy water, and stay hydrated. So what I have in this pan right here is some uh, raisins soaking in water. And what I do with this is I kind of heat up the water for about 10 to 20 minutes, boil it, leave it to soak overnight. And this is your homemade um, liver cleanse. Now, the reason I mentioned the liver with regard to kidney health is because the liver breaks down the harmful substances in your body so what then happens is you get blood byproduct which goes to the kidneys and uh to to filter it out again remove uh, any cellular waste and also store and put back into the body anything that is of uh that is is required or beneficial to the body so the kidneys filter everything out but then what the liver also do, does is it, it breaks down those substances into bile byproducts, which actually ultimately leave your body as feces. But you can Google all of this anyway. What I'm going to do is I'm kind of not going to go into too much details, but um, I'm going to actually kind of let you guys know a routine which will kind of help to clean your kiver, uh, your, 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 
your, your liver and your kidney. So what I do is I boil up the water with the raisins, try and get raisins that don't actually have like sulfur dioxide or vegetable oil or all these kind of weird preservatives on because ultimately then you just end up drinking that. But one of the main reasons, I mean, this drink is super beneficial. You can Google the benefits of raisin water and it's simple to make, it's cheap to make. You just boil up the water with your raisins for about 10 to 20 minutes. You leave it to soak overnight. And what the, the, the raisins will do, they'll swell up and they'll take them kind of almost like their natural form. So you end up with these big, big raisins. And then from then on, what you do is you kind of filter out the water or you um, sieve out the water from the raisins. You can enjoy the raisins in a salad or whatever you want to do with it. And then you just drink the water. And this is a very effective, cheap and productive way of cleaning your liver, basically. So the next thing I'm going to do basically is kind of just put together quickly this little, I suppose, kidney flushing drink, which is basically going to be fresh young green coconut water. I understand that not everybody has access to coconut water. So in this case, if you don't have, you can't get the actual green young coconuts, what you can do is um, just pick up some good quality water i usually tend to pick up water that is bottled in glass bottles rather than plastic bottles to avoid plastic poisoning but again you can do all your google research and find out the best sources of water that's local to you um and what we're going to do is we're going to add to that water i've got some uh, 100 percent pressed uh cranberry juice not from dilute or concentrate avoid all of that stuff that's like sweetened what what cranberry juice should taste like it should be really tart in taste um, like super sour and what I do is I'm gonna add some of that cranberry uh, juice pressed cranberry juice to the coconut water I'm gonna add in those nettles that we've picked up and washed and cleaned a little bit earlier on and I'm gonna add a handful of uh, berries you know I tend to get frozen berries just because it allows you to get them all year round when they're out of season and stuff but that's just my personal preference and then what we're gonna do later is I'm gonna wake up early in the morning, about two o'clock in the morning, and I'm gonna drink that raisin water to clean out my liver first thing in the morning. So, again, um, this is the drink. I'll leave the, 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 the recipe down below. It's pretty simple, pretty basic, and it's something that you can easily make at home. And what we're gonna do is, in the coming vlogs, also look at the different ways you can use nettles, because you can actually make a nettle tea, which is also a great, blood purifier and kidney purifier so yeah man i hope i tried to squeeze as much information as possible into this vlog and then we're going to keep on elaborating on this discussion of kidney health and liver health so please feel free to leave a comment below sorry i also i know that during this whole vlog this part of the vlog the washing machine has been going in the background so i excuse any kind of distraction from that but um, yeah, leave a comment below. Let us know what you think. Let us know if you've got any ideas on how to improve kidney health or any home remedies that you can share with us and share with everybody else about how to improve and help aid kidney function. And I've actually got a comment here. Radu Nastasa. Heeft Jeria Gerd. Sorry about the pronunciation of, of your name, my friend, but hello. Uh, he says, salute from Romania. And he talks about cherry stem tea being helpful for the kidneys. So in the next vlog, we're going to look at some ways of using the cherry stem tea and where you can find it and what it is. I'm not too sure about what exactly it is. But we're going to look into that and I'm going to respond to that comment and any comments on any of the other vlogs that are regarding health, nutrition, vitality and the US philosophy. So please feel free to comment below. More love for taking the time to watch this vlog and hopefully through these means we can kind of share as much information and knowledge as possible about how to push the boundaries of 
possibility, this idea of limitation, you know, help each other to be more healthy and push the overstand us mindset.